Hello, so what we're going to do is to create a blank project to demonstrate this. We start with a blank template and then it's going to create everything that we need here. Basically, there are two main components that are here and the other children components that are here are just dependencies and are created automatically. Um, so we have a main content, which is basically the root content of this particular page um, then for us to be able to create a JSON layout uh, for banana or B4X we need to select that we need this to be a layout you know so the main content will be a layout by itself the name of the layout will be main content layout because it's the it's it's, it's independent it stays on itself we save this the other thing that we need to create a layout for is the tab, which is the page called home. So because we want this to be in a separate code model, we want it to have its own independent layout also that will have everything dependent on it. So we go to create before X JSON layout and then we click on save so that when we generate the JSON layouts, the system knows which components it needs to use. So that's basically, that's it. So it's the root component uh, or the root content where every page will sit in and then also the tabs, which are the individual pages because this will be on a separate code model. This will basically be in PG index. That is the main start page of our application. So you do this after you have um, created your application structure and designed it with the wireframe application. So the next phase is for us to create the JSON file that will be used by uh, before X. So we're ready. We just go here, download before X JSON layout. Um, of course, we still have download abstract designer guide. So now we're going to download the JSON file. You click there and then the system will generate all the layouts you selected. For example, in our example here, we said the home layout should be uh, the home page should be a layout. And then the main content should be a layout. That is why you have a layout uh, suffixed to both of these. So it has created these two files in our downloads folder. So we can go there and kind of like open them. So this is the layout in JSON format as created by the application itself. So there's our content control headers there's our kits you know created based on the layout so that's the structure of the json file as it is that is needed and for us to create the b4j layout files what we're going to do is to use walter's tool um, i've just done some amendments to this to meet my needs so we're going to start the tool and then what we're going to do is just to select the two files that we downloaded and then convert them to BJL, uh, which will be used in our application. So let's run the application. And of course, I mean, this is going to come as an exe file, which will convert your selected JSON files. So we start the application and then um, what we want to do now is to convert those JSON files to layout files. And then we go to convert JSON to BJR. We, uh, we select, we want to select the file. So we go to our downloads. There is our file, home layout selected and then it's converted successfully and then you select the other file main content layout
is converted you know so we're basically done converting the files to pjls and this they are here is that one and that one so what we're going to do then uh, let's start an application uh, let's do the p4j project using a template from let's use this one uh it's a task, so ionic 7 layout test you know so to demonstrate this we're going to take a project that doesn't use any layouts this doesn't use any layouts as you can see we go and we add a layout from uh, the one that we've created So we need to open the layout. File open. And then we look for the layouts that we created. They are sitting here. Objects. Is this layout and this layout? Yeah. So let's open it. There it is. It's an iron tab. And then this is the contents that are there. And then let's open the other one. Let's save this as home layout. Okay. And then we open the other one. This is home layout. Uh, let's select the other one. Objects, main content. Yeah. This has a two components inside the other one is the main con is the iron content and the other one is the main page as you can see here the main page parent id is the main content that it needs to sit inside it we can do like resize the main content and then put the main page inside it you know but this is not necessary because we already have the parent ID here. So if we do it like this, we just need to remove this because the main page is also just below the main page content here. So there won't be any need to actually resize and uh, put components wherever because the parent ID will be specified for them. So the main page itself here is an iron page, is a div um and 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 is a page uh this doesn't have a header because the header will be taken to find from the other pages and then we can save this as main content layout which is usually the root layout so the the main content Okay, these ones we can delete because they are not being used now. We just change the name so that generating application. So here we can say uh, banana load layout. The target is the app. And then we want to load the main content layout. Mm -hmm. This was generated by a code. So we're just going to comment this thing out. 
because we don't need it per se now. We are just going to comment it up to here. It just means that I need to create another template that will just encompass our needs here. I'm going to comment this one out also because I don't need it. Okay, let's just comment this one out. And then the second leg of this then is to the home layout is supposed to be the home page, which is this one here. So what we need to do here is to also do a banana that load layout. We are pending um, to let me just think now. Where are we are pending, let me see. To main page tabs. Yeah, and content. I'm pending. The iron page. The iron page, which is the master page. It has tabs, it has content, it has tabs. So because it's main page, the name of the tabs is the main page tabs. So the hosting component of the application. So what we need to do here is to say load layout append to main page tabs. And then we're going to load the home layout because when this layout is loaded, it's going to create the various components that we need. So this is basically the same as this one, main page tabs, main page tabs. But now this was generated by code, but now we're going to be using a load a layout to, to add it. So Let's run the application and see whether everything is working fine. Um, so let me just say something here. Okay, let's just comment everything out. The home is the is the iron tab, which is basically what is sitting here. You know, um, in normal circumstances, what we will do is to generate members but because we're using an already existing code structure we'll just leave that one you know so it's iron tab we append everything to main tabs because this is a page it can be a collection of pages so we want it to be uh, added the you know so basically that's how we do it let me do this let me run this so that we see if everything that we are trying is working because I'm just testing this for the first time also as I'm running it with you. So let's run the application and just see if our generated layout and everything it works as expected. So we compile the application. We make sure that our web server is running. Uh, Laragon, where are you? So let's open it. The templates that are here um, are already predefined with some code structure, but because we are able now to generate the layouts using B4J, some of this code will not be unnecessary. So we can just remove it. And instead of all this code, we just have load layout and not having written code to actually create the components via code. It's usually easy to use your layout when you're designing your application because you can always go back to it and easily adjust it, you know, but when you're having a lot of layouts to create, then it becomes a little bit challenging. You need to be smart about it. Our application is here, it's working.
um, let's look at it from a point of view of being viewed from a mobile device we go there activate the mobile device so this is exactly the same thing we did in the wireframes you see remember in the wireframes application we have exactly what is this you see here and then using the layout that we generated from wireframes everything is perfect as it was so this is the first try of generating the layouts from uh, the wireframing application uh, thankfully to Walters for the functionality to extract content from layouts and generate it as JSON so we've been able to um, use the same methodology to try and generate our properties that are built here and uh, we're able to make sure that within the wireframe application you can actually create your layouts and able to actually create the applications that you want to create uh, following the same principle of what p4x is all about so we will keep on trying this functionality and um, testing it out for more things hopefully uh, with time um, it adds a lot of value to our processes and how we do things when it comes to creating our hybrid application but so far the achievement has been you are take, able to take your wireframe you are able to click there to download the before x json layout you're able to convert the layout to a, a, a json file to a layout able to import it and create a project and it just works and basically instead of ha us having all of these code lines we just now are using load layout and we'll basically also be able to say fine this is the home uh, component let's generate members so the members are already there because this is based on custom view and everything that we did in the wireframe application has been taken over um, to be created you know um, into the application itself so yeah this is it this is exciting in a way you know so yep thank you